Starting five for the home team, Weber Warriors. Number three, Hunter Schneck. Number four, Griffin Dottie. Number 42, Jackson Shaw. And number five, Taylor Payne. Both teams looking to extend their wins tonight in Region 1. Both teams coming in 1-1 one and one on the season. As the darts bring it up off the tip-off. Shot from three off the rim. No good. Rebounder there by Schneck coming the other way for the Warriors. Takes a deflection there off of number 10, Caden Eggett. And it will continue to be Weber ball. Let's take a look at this Davis Darts, Davis Darts team who again comes into this one at 1-1. One one. They lost a close one at home against the Lancers. 56 as a layup there is good from Dylan Rylands. But the Darts... We lost a close one at home against the Lancers. And then we're able to bounce back and get a 65-58 to win against the Farmington Phoenix. And now they're looking to continue the win streak here tonight against the Warriors. As that one by Schneck is good, but called back due to a foul. For the home team, the Weber Warriors, also 1-1. One one. They were able to beat the F Clearfield Falcons 59-54. As that one laid up, no good there from Eggett coming the other way. And then the Warriors lost 76-66 against Syracuse. Now they're looking to bounce back and get a win here at home against the Darts. It's Colby Wicker, 3 off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Schneck. It does come off of Hunter Schneck. And it will be Davis Ball. Ike Morgan to play it in. Wicker lays it off to Alex Fisher. Fisher back to Wicker. Wicker finds Ike Morgan. Zach Fisher. Morgan. Still Davis on the ball as Fisher taking it to the rim. In the corner now. Alex Fisher. Off the rim. No good. Rebounded by the Warriors. Coming the other way. Big defensive effort there from Ike Morgan to deny that shot. It will continue to be Weber Warrior ball as number three Hunter Schneck will play it in. Hunter Schenk. Slowing it down here for the Warriors. Tries the deep three off the rim. Rebounded by Wicker. Wicker bringing it up now for the darts. Fisher. Ike Morgan in the corner. Wicker trying to take it to the rim. Plays it out to Fisher. Morgan. That's Alex Fisher. Morgan again. Zach Fisher in the corner. Three off the rim. No good. Rebounded by the Warriors. Schenk. Schenk trying to find space. Settles it for number 42. Jackson Shaw. And Shaw gets the layup. And is good on that one as the Warriors take a 4-0 lead. Ike Morgan now for the darts. Settles it. It's now Eggett. As the darts here trying to get some points on the board. Morgan. Eggett. Colby Wicker. Fisher. Trying to tee up a three. Back to Fisher. Three. Off the rim. No good. Rebounded. Off the second chance opportunity. Layup. I believe that was Eggett. And that's two on the board for the darts. Schenk will bring it up and slow down for the Warriors. 
Shaw. Jackson Shaw trying to find room underneath to Rylands. Schenk again. That will be a foul there called against Ike Morgan. Warrior ball. Schenk to play it in. Leaves it here for Tyler Payne. Payne. What can the Warriors do here on this possession as Tyler Payne is trying to turn, spins, settles it for Shaw. Shaw with a shot. No good. Rebounded initially there by Dylan Rylands and ultimately called a foul against the Darts. Schenk plays it in to Jackson Shaw. Shaw near the top of the key. Schenk again, almost stolen there by the darts. Schenk will try a deep three off the rim. No good, rebounded by the darts, coming the other way. Atwater, Atwater with a three. Tees it up for a three and he's good. Big three point opportunity there from Coleman Atwater and the darts take a lead here. As now Rylands, Rylands turns, shoots. What a shot there from Dylan Rylands. Puts two on the board for the Warriors. Atwater. Bring it up now, Wicker. Wicker settles it for Fisher. Fisher to Alex Fisher. Hunter Schenk there getting in, almost steals that one, but the darts recover. As Wicker was trying to tee up a three. It's now Zach Fisher. Zach Fisher taking to the rim, layup. Off the rim, no good. Schenk bringing it up now for the Warriors. Hunter finds Jack, finds Rylands underneath. Rylands shot. Rylands good. As Ryland adds another two for the Weber Warriors. Fisher now and the darts trying to respond. Wicker. Wicker. Atwater in the corner. Atwater from three. Atwater. That's six points from Coleman Atwater since checking into this one. Both off three-point opportunities as we are tied here at Weber. Schenk, shot. Ooh, what a shot there from Hunter Schenk. Adds two for the Warriors. As now Alex Fisher bringing it up. Eggett at the top of the key. Back to Fisher. Eggett taking it to the rim. Shot, layup, good. Big two points there from Caden Eggett as a timeout is called on the floor. And we've had a back and forth close one here so far at Weber. 10 10 with 150 left to go here in the first quarter. We're going to take a quick step away here on KSL Sports Rebound, presented by Heidemann Associates. We'll be back for more first quarter action when we return. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU, the University of You. Welcome back in to Weber High, where the Weber Warriors are taking on the Davis Darts here on the Rewind Sports Network on kslsports.com. As always, presented by Heinemann and Associates. Get a free legal consultation by calling 801-472-7742 and let them know Rewind sent you. I'm Alex Naples, and again, thanks for joining us here at Weber High. And let's take a look at Coleman Atwater, who checked in late here in the first quarter, came on and has two three-point shots. Two from two from beyond the arc for Coleman Atwater since coming in and has closed the gap and has has us tied here at Weaver High 10-10 as Hunter Schneck is bringing up the ball. Jackson Shaw. And that was Griffin Dotty trying to find Rylands. Turnover. Davis ball. 
as Ike Morgan will play it in. And Coleman Atwater bringing it up. Eggett near the top of the key. Settles it, Morgan. And it's now Fisher. Coleman Atwater. Eggett. Nice little passing play. Nice little passing again around the perimeter here from the darts. As Eggett again. Fisher, what a block there from Jackson Shaw. And now Hunter Schneck bringing it up. Turnover again as Alex Fisher brings it up for the darts. Eggett, Atwater, Fisher, Morgan. Again, nice little perimeter passing here from the darts. 50 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Morgan trying to take it in. We'll call it against here. We'll call it against Griffin Dotty here. 45 seconds to go. As Brox Turley will check in for Alex Fisher. Morgan. Atwater. Atwater. Coleman Atwater. Adding two to his tally. And the darts lead. Dottie. Shaw. Shaw lays it up. Shaw no good. Rebounded by the darts. Jump ball called here after that one. And Schneck will play it in. Dottie. Dottie trying to play back in. Rylands underneath. Shaw. Layup. Takes a couple bounces off the rim. No good. Second chance opportunity is good from Jackson Shaw. Ike Morgan bringing it up with three seconds left. Morgan taking it to the rim. Shot. No good. At mid. Coleman at water. Shot is also no good. As we are tied here at the end of the first, 12-12 here at Weber High. We're going to take a quick step away on KSL Sports Rewind presented by Heidemann Associates. More action from the first half when we return. It all starts with a smile. To show you care, offer a sign of love, welcome someone home. Even when we don't see each other, or share a room, even without words, smiles bring us together. Let's keep yours healthy. Stonehaven Dental. Schedule online at StonehavenDental.com. Salt Lake Running Company is inspiring our community to move with purpose, embrace adventure, and consciously connect to their bodies. Exercise is essential now more than ever. Take control of the chaos and make time for you. From the gym to the trail, SLRC can help you find the focus to define your finish line. Visit one of our five locations along the Wasatch Front or shop online. Welcome back in to the Rewind Sports Network on KSLSports.com. As always, presented by Heidemann and Associates. We are here at Weber High, where the Weber High Warriors and the Davis Darts are currently tied in a low-scoring first quarter, 12-12, as we get the second quarter rolling here with a shot from Eggett. Eggett is good. Eggett with two points on that one, as now the Warriors bringing it up. Schenk. Schenk trying to make a move to the rim. Settles it for Jackson Shaw. Shaw layup. Shaw fouled. And it will put Jackson Shaw at the line for the Warriors. Jackson Shaw here at the line for the Warriors. Can't get the first one to go.
Another opportunity coming up here for Jackson Shaw. No good. 0 for 2 on that trip to the line as now the darts bring it up with Coleman Atwater, who has been on fire so far, and this one has eight points in the first quarter, and it's now Wicker back to Coleman Atwater. Atwater trying to take it to the rim. Eggett. Morgan in the corner. Ike Morgan back to Eggett. Eggett three. Off the rim, no good there from Caden Eggett. And the Warriors now bringing it up with Hunter Schenk. Schenk from deep. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by the darts. Atwater. Atwater. What a shot there from Coleman Atwater. And Coleman Atwater is on fire. Make that 10 points tonight for Coleman Atwater. as he has the hot hand for the darts to start this one. Dottie, foul. It will be Weber Warrior ball. As we got a couple of substitutions here from both sides. We'll see what the Warriors are able to do here. As Schenk is getting ready to play it in. Schenk does. It's now Griffin Dottie on the ball. Dottie near the top of the key, taking it to the rim. Layup is good from Griffin Dottie. And has a chance for the and one opportunity as he is fouled on that one. Griffin Dottie at the line. Trying to make a three-point play here for the Warriors. No good. Rebounded there by Fisher. Wicker now on the ball. Wicker, three. Wicker off the rim. No good. A foul here called against the Davis Starts. As Schenk brings it up. Rylands. Good defense here from Wicker. Dottie ends up with it. Griffin Dottie, step back three. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Fisher. Fisher now trying to take it to the rim. Fisher layup. No good. But Caden Eggett is there with the second chance opportunity for the darts. 18-14 here at Weber. As now Dottie brings it up for the Warriors. Dottie making a move to the rim. Great defensive effort there from the darts as Coleman Atwater now brings it up. Atwater settles it for Wicker. Wicker trying to play it underneath to Eggett. Eggett ends up keeping it. Eggett shot. Eggett's good. Big play there from Caden Eggett to hold on to that one and make a move to the rim to get that one up and in for the darts. Shank now, three, or excuse me, shot from Shank. But he is fouled, and so it will put Hunter Shank at the line. The junior guard and leading scorer for the Weber Warriors now at the line. He's good on his first. Hunter Schenk again for his second free throw. And he's good on his second one, two for two on that trip to the line as Jackson Shaw checks in again for the Weber Warriors. Four point game here at Weber High, 450 left. And now Wicker, Atwater, Eggett, trying to turn, make a move to the rim. Shot here, foul called against Spencer. 
So it will put Caden Eggett at the line. Caden Eggett, who's also had a very good game to start here at Weber. Him and Coleman Atwater are the ones putting up the points for the darts right now, but he is no good on his first one. Second one is good from Caden Eggett. One for two on that trip to the line. As now Hunter Schenk will bring it up. Schenk here against Atwater. Sh shot from three. No good. That was Ethan Shoup. Shaw under the rim now. Shaw is good. Big two points there from Jackson Shaw as now Fisher in the corner. Three is good. Big shot there from Zach Fisher. Takes it to the corner. Hits the three-point shot and extends this Davis start lead. As now Cole Bingham finds Spencer. Spencer trying to play it in. Looking for shoot. Picked off there by the darts. Wicker. It's now Fisher in the corner, bringing it in. Wicker in the corner. Three from Wicker's good. Back to back three point shots for the darts. As Zach Fisher and Colby Wicker are good from beyond the arc to extend this dart lead. Schenk, Spencer, three. Spencer. Big response there from the Warriors to get a three of their own. And now Atwater trying to tee up a three. Settles it for Wicker. Wicker now trying to make a move to the rim. Fisher, corner three again. This time, no good. Rebounded by Schenk. Hunter Schenk now trying to make a move to the rim. Big block there from Fisher. Morgan now bringing it up for the darts. Wicker, Alex Fisher. Finds Zach Fisher. Jackson Shaw got his hand in there. Turnover here. Weaver ball. Schenk. Schenk again. Spencer, three. Off the rim, no good. Fisher with the rebound, and now Ike Morgan brings it up. Morgan, layup. No good. Rebounded by Shaw. So now Ethan Shoop. Shoop, Shank, Shank, three, no good. Rebounded by Fisher, and now Zach Fisher will slow things down here for the darts. There's a little bit of a back and forth battle there for a minute or two, but now the darts slowing it down with Colby Wicker. Fisher near the top of the key. Fisher making a move to the rim. Fisher, layup. Foul called against the Warriors. And it will put Zach Fisher at the line. Zach Fisher, the junior forward, at the line. No good on the first. couple of changes here for the Warriors as Dylan Rylands checks back in for the Warriors as Zach Fisher gets ready for his second one no good 0 for 2 on that trip to the line from Fisher and now the Weaver Warriors will bring it up 27-21 darts lead with 152 left to go Bingham trying to make a move to the rim still Cole Bingham Bingham supports himself with Shoop Ethan Shoup. Big play there. Looking for Rylands. Rylands can't get that one to go. Rylands. After three shots. Rebounded by the darts. Coming the other way. Wicker. Taking to the rim. Wicker. Foul. And it will put Colby Wicker at the line for the darts.
Colby Wicker from the line now. Good on his first. As Caden Eggett checks back in for the darts. As well as Griffin Dottie for the Warriors. Colby Wicker made his first. Can't get the second one to go. One for two on that trip to the line for the darts. As now Griffin Dottie will bring it up for the Warriors. Dottie finds Shaw. Shaw trying to find a pass here. Finds Rylands. Rylands underneath. Ryland shot. Rebounded initially there from Shaw. But the darts will bring it up with Wicker. Atwater in the corner. Atwater! Coleman Atwater! Can't stop scoring from beyond the arc and extends this Davis lead. 31-21 with 53 seconds left to go in the second quarter. We're going to take a quick step away here on KSL Sports Run presented by Hadamant Associates. More second and half, second quarter action when we return. Welcome back in to KSL, Sport, KSL Sports Rewind presented by Heinemann Associates. Get a free legal consultation by calling 801-472-7742 and let them know Rewind sent you. Welcome back into Weber High. My name is Alex Napolis and we are here with a 31-21 lead for the Davis Darts as Coleman Atwater has been absolutely on fire from beyond the arc for the Davis Darts and he's the one who's extending this lead for the Darts. And we'll see what the Warriors are able to do here in response with 46 seconds left on the clock here in the second quarter. Picked off there by Wicker. Colby Wicker bringing it up now. Morgan. Wicker to Fisher. Alex Fisher trying to play it out to Zach Fisher. 29 seconds left and the darts will slow it down. Wicker. Egget underneath. Eggett trying to sh trying to shot there. Eggett second chance opportunity is good. Two points there from Caden Eggett to extend the Davis lead. As now Rylands has an opportunity underneath. No. A foul called against the darts on that one, and head coach Chad Smith is not happy with that call as it now puts Dylan Rylands at the line to try to close this gap. Rylands, no good. Two seconds left, needs to get a shot off. Another foul. As again, Chad Sims not happy about that one. Now going to put Tyler Payne at the line. Tyler Payne can't get that one to go. Tyler Payne again from the free throw line. Gets that one to go. One for two on that one for the Warriors as we have one second, one tick left on the clock. And that'll do it. Oh! shot but the ref says he did not get it off on time incredible and how unfortunate that it will not count 33 Davis 22 Warriors and that's going to bring us to halftime <laughs> we're going to we're going to take a quick step away here on KSL Sports Rewind presented by Heidemann Associates stick with us for the second half when we return Welcome back into the Rewind Sports Network on KSLSports.com. As always, presented by Heidemann Associates. Get a free legal consultation when you let them know Rewind sent you. Call 801-472-7742. Also brought to you by WGU. Earn a one-year MBA with WGU. WGU offers an education that is attainable, affordable, and full of support. Go to WGU.edu to learn more. We're here live at Weber High School where the Weber Warriors are taking on the Davis Darts. I'm Alex Napolis, bringing you all the action 
from Weber High, where the Darts currently lead 33-22. to Led by a phenomenal first-half performance from Coleman Atwater, who was on fire from beyond the arc. Everything that he's shot has gone in as he leads scoring for the darts with 13 points tonight and they'll be looking to ride more of that tonight to pull out the win as a deep three from Griffin Doughty what a shot there to close this gap and try to get back in this for the Warriors as now Ike Morgan brings it up Shot there. More of a pass to Zach Fisher underneath, and Fisher gets the layup. As now Hunter Schenk will bring it up. Shaw settles it to Dottie. Payne. Payne now taking it to the rim. Shaw. Spin. Shot. No good, but he is fouled. Or, excuse me, it looks like it will be a foul called against Jackson Shaw. So we'll give the ball back to the Davis Darts. Ike Morgan. Bringing it up now for the Darts as Eggett. Trying to settle. Takes it himself. Eggett, shot. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Eggett. Eggett trying again. Foul. Foul called there against the Warriors, and it will put Caden Eggett at the line to try to extend this Davis lead. Eggett, good on the first. Caden Eggett, who has also had a fantastic game tonight with that free throw, puts him at 12 points for the darts. Looking to make it 13, and he does. Two for two on that trip to the line from Caden Eggett, who again is also having a fantastic night for the darts. Dottie settles it now for Payne. Tim Payne on the ball. Excuse me, Tyler Payne on the ball. Shaw. Shaw trying to take it to the rim. Shaw, shot. Foul there, called against Jackson Shaw. And it will be Davis Ball. That's back-to-back -back opportunities where Jackson Shaw tries to take it to the rim. And ends up getting a foul called against him. And now let's see what Morgan can do here. As Morgan brings it up for the darts. Eggett, shot from three. No good. Rebounded there by Rylands. Dylan Rylands bringing it up. Dottie in the corner. Ike Morgan got his hand in there, but it will draw a foul. And now Griffin Dottie has a chance to make it a three-point play from the line. Three shots coming up here for Dottie. As he sinks the first. Dottie no good on the second one. As he still has an opportunity at one more. And good on the third. Two for three on that one for Griffin Dottie. And it, it makes it a 10 point game again here at Weber. Wicker. Wicker with a shot. Wicker's good on the layup. As now Hunter Schenk brings it up. Hunter Schenk trying to take it to the rim. Turnover here. And they will call it a foul here against number five, Alex Fisher. And it will be Weaver Ball.
Schenk will play it in for the Warriors. A couple of changes here for the Warriors. As Rylands checks in. Spencer at the top of the key. Spencer at, back out to Schenk. Schenk trying to take it in. Schenk with a shot. Rebound no good. As now Fisher bringing it the other way for the darts. Alex Fisher. Wicker. Back to Fisher. Fisher to Zach Fisher. Ike Morgan in the corner. Eggett underneath. Eggett with an opportunity. Eggett shot. Layup. Spins out. No good. Coming the other way for the Warriors. Rylands, re layup, it's good. Big play there for the Warriors as again they're trying to close this gap, trying to get back in this one as now Eggett taking it in. Back out to Colby Wicker. Wicker to Fisher, Fisher to Zach Fisher. Fisher taking it in, Fisher layup, good. And fouled. As the shot comes off, so it will put him at the line for a three-point play opportunity. As now Coleman Atwater checking in for the darts, as well as Cole Bingham for the Warriors. Zach Fisher from the line. From the and one opportunity, no good. Rebounded there by Spencer. They will say it came off of Coleman Atwater as Atwater was trying to fight for that one. So it will be Warrior Ball. 41-29 here with 4.30 left to go in the third as the darts are in the lead. Shot from Payne. Payne! That's a three-point shot there from Tyler Payne. As the Warriors are trying to close this gap. Fisher, layup, good, and one. Back-to-back -back possessions where Zach Fisher takes it to the rim, gets the shot off, but is fouled, and he will have another opportunity here to make it a three-point play after that one. Zach Fisher from the line. No good. Rebounded there by Payne. Ball going out to the darts as Coleman Atwater will play it in. Fisher. Eggett underneath. Eggett. Wicker. Outside. Three. Rebound. Off the rim. Oh, and it's good. Looked like it was bouncing out there for a second, but luck is a little bit on the dart side tonight as that one just bounces in and extends this dart lead timeout on the floor. We're going to take a quick one as well here on KSL Sports Rewind, presented by Heidemann and Associates. Salt Lake Running Company is inspiring our community to move with purpose, embrace adventure, and consciously connect to their bodies. Exercise is essential now more than ever. Take control of the chaos and make time for you. From the gym to the trail, SLRC can help you find the focus to define your finish line. Visit one of our five locations along the Wasatch Front or shop online at slrc.com. Welcome back in here to Weber High on the Rewind Sports Network, as always presented by Heidemann Associates. I'm Alex Napolis, and thank you for joining us here at Weber High, where we have 3.56 left to play, and the Davis Darts lead 46-32. to Weber ball to get us rolling. As Payne looking for an opportunity. Payne plays it out to Dottie. Dottie to Spencer. Spencer shot. No good. Rebounded by Atwater as Coleman Atwater bringing it up for the darts. Atwater in the corner now to Fisher. 
Fisher against Payne. Fisher back out to Wicker. Wicker to Fisher. Fisher to Fisher. Fisher three. Fisher good. Fisher to Fisher, link up there on that one as Zach Fisher settles it for Alex Fisher. And Alex Fisher gets the three for the darts as Bingham trying to get a shot off there. Can't. And it will be Davis Ball now as Wicker near the top of the key. Wicker with a deep three off the rim. No good. Schenk bringing it up now for the Warriors. Opportunity now here for Hunter Schenk. Schenk with the shot off the rim. No good. Hunter Schenk, the leading scorer for the darts here as that's a three-point shot there from Zach Fisher to extend this dart lead. We're going to take a quick step away here on KSL Sports Rerun, presented by Heidemann and Associates. More second half action when we return. At UCCU, we'll provide you with a low rate line of credit that makes it easy to access the equity in your home with no fees or closing costs. Simply complete an application on your phone or computer and select the low rate option you prefer. And then sit back and enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have a low rate line of credit ready for whatever life throws at you. To learn more or start your application, visit uccu.com or stop by any branch. It all starts with a smile. To show you care, offer a sign of love, welcome someone home. Even when we don't see each other, or share a room, even without words, Smiles bring us together. Let's keep yours healthy. Stonehaven Dental. Schedule online at StonehavenDental.com. Welcome back into Weber High, where the Davis Darts hold a 52 32 lead over the Weber Warriors here in this Region 1 matchup. The darts have been incredible from beyond the arc tonight, and that is a big reason as to why they are in the lead here at Weber. And how will the Warriors respond here as Dottie settles it? Layup there from Will Stratford, but it's no good coming the other way. Fisher shot. Fisher, no good. Rebounded by Stratford. Schenk taking it to the rim. Schenk with the shot. Foul here called against the darts. Called against Colby Wicker. And it will put Hunter Schenk at the line. Hunter Schenk, who again is the leading scorer for the Weber Warriors through the season. Only has four points up to this point. Make that five. With the free throw. Schenk here now with a second free throw. And it's no good. Rebounded there by Fisher. And the darts will bring it up now. As Coleman Atwater has an opportunity. Atwater, shot. Pass to Wicker underneath. Wicker with a shot, no good. But it will be a foul here called against the Warriors. And it will continue to be Davis Star ball with a minute 37 left to go here in the third. Ike Morgan back in and he will play it in for the darts as Wicker with a layup and it's good. Two points there for Colby Wicker as now the Warriors bring it the other way with Stratford. Stratford to Shaw underneath. Shaw layup, no good. Trying to end this Davis run. Dottie, taking it to the rim, Dottie. No good, foul called there.
as the darts or excuse me, as it will continue to be Warrior Ball as number 30, Brox Turley checks in or will be checking in. But before then, head coach Chad Smiths will call a timeout here for the darts and we'll take a quick one as well. Weber High is where we're at here on the Rewind Sports Network where the Davis Darts currently lead 54-33 against the Warriors with 1.16 left to go in the third. As Shaw has an opportunity to take it to the rim, Shaw fouled on that one. And it will put Jackson Shaw at the line. Shaw with an opportunity for two. No good on the first there from Jackson Shaw. No good there on the second one, rebounded by Fisher. And now Coleman Atwater will bring it up for the darts. Atwater, three, gets that one to go. Coleman Atwater. He has been absolutely phenomenal tonight for the darts. As Shaw has a chance underneath, no good, rebounded by the darts. Wicker now bringing it up with 40 seconds to go. Wicker, layup, no good, rebounded by Turley. Turley's good. Brox Turley adds two and extends this Davis lead. Shaw taking it to the rim. Settles it for Stratford. Stratford with the shot. Stratford good. Will Stratford able to sink that one, get that one to go. And we got 10 seconds left here in the third as Atwater bringing it up. Five. Four. Atwater shot. Off the rim, no good, and that'll do it. That'll bring us to the end here of the third quarter where the Davis Darts are currently leading 59-35 to against the Weber Warriors. And we're going to take a quick step away here on the Rewind Sports Network, as always, presented by Heidemann and Associates. Fourth quarter action when we return. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU. The University of U. Mountainland Power Equipment provides exceptional service and high-quality brands you know and trust in lawn, landscaping, and snow removal products. Our experienced staff of technicians repair all types of snow plows, snow blowers, lawn mowers, small engines, and is trained to answer questions about lawn, garden, snow removal, and landscaping products. Mountainland Power Equipment, now with two locations. Welcome back into Weber High. As we get ready to start the fourth quarter, where the Davis Darts currently lead 59 35. Shot there from Dottie is good. And we'll put him at the line for a three point play opportunity. Shot 
What a performance it's been tonight from the Davis Starts, who have been absolutely on fire from beyond the arc. Led by number one, Coleman Atwater, who has had the hot hand for the darts all night long. And now Morgan has an opportunity. Eggett, back to Atwater. Atwater, he's trying to tee it up. Taking it in, settles it for Fisher. Fisher trying to tee it up, takes it to the rim, layup, blocked. And then Eggett with the rebound. Atwater. Atwater for three. Atwater's good. Again, Coleman Atwater has been phenomenal. As now Jackson Shaw trying to have an opportunity here for the Warriors. It's good. Big two points there from Jackson Shaw as now Davis has the ball. Atwater. Atwater again playing it out to Morgan. Fisher now on the ball. Eggett. Eggett loses that one out. Turn over here for the darts. As now Payne plays it out. Jotty for three. Jotty with a big three-point shot there. Warriors doing everything they can to close this gap. As now the darts bring it up. Fisher. Wicker taking it to the rim. Wicker layup good. Two points there from Colby Wicker. Shaw. Shaw layup good. Back and forth high score in fourth quarter here at Weber High. So far. And now Ike Morgan settles it for Atwater. Now, Eggett settles it for Wicker. Colby Wicker back to Eggett. Eggett to Atwater. Nice little possession passing here from the darts as they get another three. I don't think enough can be said tonight about the performance from guys like Coleman Atwater, guys like Zach Fisher, and Colby Wicker, who have been tremendous tonight from beyond the arc for the darts and are a big reason why they have the lead here at Weber High. Timeout on the floor called by the darts. Five twenty eight left to go here at Weber High, sixty seven forty four. The Davis Starts lead, again, led behind a tremendous performance from Coleman Outwater. As it will be the Warriors here to get us rolling again in the fourth. Schenk. Hunter Schenk bringing it up for the Warriors. Schenk will try it from deep. No good. Rebounded there by the darts as Ike Morgan brings it up. Fisher settles it for Morgan. Ike Morgan still here on the ball. Morgan cuts inside. Big block there from the Warriors coming the other way now as Schenk has an opportunity. Tries a shot, but is fouled and will go to the line for the two-point play. Schenk from the line. He's good. Six, 
second free throw coming up for Schenk. As Schenk gets that one to go. Atwater bringing it up for the darts. Eggett. Wicker back to Atwater. Eggett now near the top of the key. Atwater, three. Off the rim, no good. I may be wrong, but I believe that is Coleman Atwater's first miss of the night from beyond the arc. As the Warriors now trying to close this gap, and they get a good layup there. That was Dylan Rylands with the two points for the Warriors. Eggett. Back to Eggett. Eggett underneath. Eggett trying to get the shot off, but he's fouled. And it will put number 10, Caden Eggett, at the line. Caden Eggett, the senior forward, who has also been phenomenal tonight for the darts, gets his first one to go. Second one is also good from Caden Eggett. And extends this Davis lead as Schenk has an opportunity to bring it up, but he will be fouled. And it will put Hunter Schenk at the line. Again, the Warriors just trying to close this gap, trying to get back into this one as Schenk comes to the line for two. Good on the first. Schenk again from the free throw line. Two for two on that trip. Wicker bringing it up for the darts. Atwater to Fisher. Fisher finds Zach Fisher. Zach Fisher trying to lay it up there. Can't get it to go, and it's now Schenk bringing it up. Schenk, three. No good for Hunter Schenk. Eggett underneath. Eggett layup good. Two points there from Caden Eggett. As now Payne trying to respond, but it's stolen by Fisher. To Alex Fisher. Fisher tees up a three. Good there from Alex Fisher. Schenk now trying to respond. Shaw underneath. Shaw layup. It's good, and he's fouled. Chance at a three-point play coming up here for the Warriors. As Jackson Shaw, the senior forward for the Warriors, is at the line. Shaw gets that one to go. Seventy-four fifty-three with three ten left to go. As Wicker brings it up, Fisher settles it for Alex Fisher. Eggett now taking it in. Eggett layup, good block there from Brandon Crockett. As now Dottie with an opportunity, Bingham plays it in. Cole Bingham, no good. Rebounded by Fisher. And it's now Wicker bringing it up. Coleman Atwater. Atwater taking it. No good there from Coleman Atwater. Payne with an opportunity here for the Warriors. Tyler Payne. Plays it out to Griffin Dottie. Dottie, three. Dottie, no good. Rebounded there by Crockett. Cole Bingham still stolen by the darts. Coming the other way. Wicker. Colby Wicker, Atwater, off the rim, no good. 
as now Cole Bingham brings it up for the Warriors to Tyler Payne. Tyler Payne trying to tee up a three. Great defense there from Coleman Atwater. Crockett. Payne, layup. No good. Rebounded by Atwater. Colby Wicker brings it up. Wicker, three. Wicker's good. Again, the Davis starts have been on fire, have been tremendous tonight from beyond the arc. And Colby Wicker adds another. We're going to take a quick step away here on the Rewind Sports Network. Back for more fourth quarter action when we return. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them. Because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time. Courses on your time. Graduate on your time. WGU. The University of You. Salt Lake Running Company is inspiring our community to move with purpose, embrace adventure, and consciously connect to their bodies. Exercise is essential now more than ever. Take control. Welcome back into Weber High. I'm Alex Napolis, and we're wrapping up here with 1.30 left to go in the fourth, and the Davis Starts lead 77-53 to as it's now Stratford trying to find an opportunity for the Warriors. He is fouled, and so that will put Will Stratford, the sophomore forward, at the line. Will Stratford sinks the first. Stratford again, the sophomore, trying to make it two for two. Sinks it, and it's two for two on that trip to the line. Darts bringing it up now with Ike Morgan. As three-point opportunity there from number 23. And it's good. Excuse me, that was number 21, Caleb Taylor. As it looks like the starters for the darts will get the rest of the night off as it's now Turley set on it for Taylor and we do apologize because it looks like 23 is not on our roster for the darts as a foul there called against Stratford as Ike Morgan got a handout Thirty-one seconds left to go. Darts lead eighty to fifty-five. As Ike Morgan heads to the line. Ike Morgan good on his first. Ike Morgan again from the free throw. Gets his second one to go. And it's now Higgins bringing it up. Or excuse me, Higgs bringing it up. Uh, but it does go out of bounds. And now Ethan Jorgensen will play it in. Jorgensen trying to find Crockett. That one is a turnover for the Warriors. 25 seconds left. And Ike Morgan will bring it up for the darts. Settles it for Caleb Taylor. Taylor finds Turley. 
Turley out to Taylor. Taylor to Morgan. Turley again. Right. Bennett right. Ike Morgan, and they'll just play this one out as we have one second left. And that'll do it. A big performance from the Davis Stars from beyond the arc. And that brings us to the conclusion here at Weber High. 82 to 55, the Darts take this one. And now go 2-1 and one in region play as the Weber Warriors fall to 1-2. tonight here on the Rewind Sports Network as always on kslsports.com presented by Heidemann and Associates. Make sure to mention us when you call 801-472-7742 for a free legal consultation. And also sponsored by WGU. Earn a one-year MBA with WGU and WGU offers an education that is attainable, affordable, and full support. Go to wgu.edu to learn more. That's going to do it for me, Alex Napolis, from Bill Francis on the camera and the entire Rewind Sports family. We thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, everybody have a good night.